So today is Jackbox night, and I am Katie, the bat. I am here with my wife, Christy. Let me unmute us all on Mumble so you can hear that. And I'm also here with my sister, Alice. You can hear that. Right. <laughs> So, we're going to play Jackbox 4 this week, because it was on sale, and hell, why not? We are uh, also being joined right now by our uh, by one of our regulars and the uh, woman who's provided me with the music for our outros, uh, Xenon Fiber. Say hi, I guess in the chat, Xenon, since I didn't think to uh, tell you to download Mumble or anything ahead of time. We will work this out more later. Yes. <laughs> there. See that? Right on screen. Y'all can see that. That's the good shit right there. So we're going to be doing the same thing we done been do doing. Wow, Doting. that was some English. It was some English. We're going to be do the doing the same thing we have been doing. Anyone who's in the chat is... Not necessarily welcome to join, because we had problems with that. Uh, friends of the channel, absolutely welcome. In the meantime, it looks like it's just us four, so let's just have some fun with that till more people come on in. It's always going to be fun. The real fun is the friends we make along the way. That's very, very true. We're going to be going to jackbox.tv to input the room codes which we will PM to our players. So I guess we'll start out with regular Fibbage. Uh, uh, sounds good. I've actually never seen the actual Fibbage. And I should move that box out the way. Oh, yes. Hi, I'm Cookie, helpful. your Fibbage tour guide. Keep your hey, hands cookie. inside the Fibbage at all times. Hey, I thought I told you four never to show your faces around here again. But apparently, <laughs> I've mistaken you for someone else. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm yelling. Oh, and uh, anyone else can get in and join the audience. The audience gets to throw extra lies into the mix and guess the truth along with players. Let's go. Well, that sounds like fun. This is round one, where you'll get 500 points for fooling the other players with your lies. And you'll score 1,000 for finding the truth. Okay, so I understand I previously Select a said... Category. First, I gotta pick a category. I understand that I previously said I really like the aesthetic in this game. Okay. But I realized how many eyes there were. But what? I only took a couple seconds. Okay, here's your first question. Mean. Scottish politician Gisela Allen said in 2017 that she finds herself extremely attracted to blank. Now make something up to fool your opponents and submit it on your device. If you can't think of something, press the oh. lie for me button for half the points. Do it now. All right. Okay, those are the choices. Touch the truth on your device now. <laughs> <laughs> These are all very good. They are all quite good, yes. <laughs> I can't believe I can't believe that went. <laughs> oh, okay. Yep. Quote, when I go to a zoo and I see a gorilla, my we are hormones losing frames. go absolutely crazy. So, now you know that. Yeah. Why are we losing frames? Okay, focus up. One of the reasons Thomas Jefferson was excited to complete the Louisiana Purchase is because there were rumors of a giant blank on the banks of the Missouri River. All right, Write it's your better lies now. now. Maybe it was Windows updates. Oh. Okay, which one updates. is the truth? <laughs> Giant river. <laughs> it's a yo dog. I heard you like rivers, so we put a river on the banks of your river, so you can swim while you swim. Oh, I thought Thomas Jefferson was into hunting. Uh, I also thought that. Ooh. I thought he was into gold. Uh, 
Uh, not your finest effort. That one sounds oh, like a lie. The man will go for salt. It doesn't really Here's give me enough time to pick a category. A bit of yeah. Customers, the Global Harbor Mall in Shanghai has installed blank pods. Type in your lies now. Snap P pods. <laughs> just they're just on the vine. You can go pick them anytime you want. Just get some some good old snap peas <laughs> down at the Global Harbor Mall, Shanghai. I like husband. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, we made the same joke. Ooh. Ooh. Well, so much for that what? one. What? Their actual Each husband. Each comes equipped with a chair, a gaming console, and a lifetime of embarrassment. Oh, I get it. See, uh, that one didn't make sense to me. I thought it was like a safety lie. Okay, find the truth. <laughs> Mountain Dew and Mountain Dew Blast. Let's see how things shook out. I think, uh, I don't think Diesel's a drink. I don't think you drink Diesel. I, guess I you mean, you don't, don't drink, drink ether, ether yeah. either. Oh. Yep. I was, like, really close to being the thing. Isn't Diesel completely solid? Yeah, Big Daddy Cool. He's, uh, uh, 200 pounds of muscle. I guess it just picks at random. Let's see what we got. Reed College in Either Oregon that or you're is real the good only at liberal it. arts college in the world with a student-run blank. Answer your lies now. I don't fucking know. Is Diesel completely solid? Like... They have it at gas pumps, so my presumption is that it can okay, be liquefied, the truth. but in, in Oregon, in the Green Triangle of the Pacific Northwest. Could be a real good lie, though. It could be a really, really good lie, yes. So good it fooled even me, the smartest woman in the world. <laughs> and what did people pick? Jesus. Oh, it was a good, good lie. Line there, well fibbed. I told you it could be. Hammer down. Wow. You're guaranteed to see as Jesus. long as you don't cause a Godzilla. All the non points. All the points. Oh, man. Oh, that's just a fact, you know? <laughs> that's a good fact. That's a very good fact. Okay, you can look at this, but don't touch. Most oh, the university there in uh, the place where you are. To I don't know Anthony how much Stephan, you want me to say about where you live. Of the automatic blank. Okay, enter your lies. Oh, your profile says Wisconsin. All right then. I guess Wisconsin is a large enough area to where no one could hunt you down. Probably. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh no. Alright, pick the truth. Alright, let's see what everybody picked. It looks like a child spanker. It does look like a child spanker. I think it is, because the other one's a spanking machine. <laughs> oh, nope. <laughs> I, I put spanking machine. Oh. has moved you ahead of me, even though we're tied. It's time yeah. for the final fibbage. One last question, that's, and it's worth that's triple. That's probably Good just by reverse alphabetical order. Belgian professors thing, studied right? library copies of Fifty Shades of Grey and discovered trace amounts of blank and blank on the books. Answer your lies now. Uh, trace amounts of bad writing and hot garbage. <laughs> So a tie would be broken by the new player to get tied. Yeah, that okay, makes sense. Okay, here are your choices. <laughs> Trace amounts of bread and butter. 
I like the idea that people are like just kind of using a copy of Fifty Shades of Grey's yeah. cutting board uh, to make French toast with. Or not French toast, like grilled cheese. Let's see what everybody selected. <laughs> that was real good. It seemed so out of place. <laughs> That's a good joke. Wow. Spoilers yeah, are for awful. the last book. Wow. Combinations, Elizabeth. Barely got there. Fibbage, it does look like Fubbage, doesn't it? Hi, B. Hi there, B. Hey, B. We're just gonna, we're just gonna do this again. And now we'll have an extra player, so that works out very well, if you're up for playing. It should, it should be a lot of fun. Uh, oh, let's me, uh, see, Alice, you wanna get this started? Bring up the Whisper Squad. Right, let me join. Uh, do you have the thing up? Oh, you don't think you'll be playing tonight? Oh, that's too bad. That's okay, though. You just stick around and relax. Uh, we already ready already? Oh, we're going. Okay. I need to quit watching the stream and watch, like, the actual TV. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, right. Gotta... Welcome to Fibbage. Come I'm Cookie, and I love all of you equally. Don't ask for details. <laughs> okay, four it is. Quattro, Fear, Tessera. <sighs> four. And anybody watching can Dibs join the audience in time. I'm Tessera. Audience members get to guess the truth got, and pick decoy to lies eventually. to fool the players. Okay, here we go. The Elmhurst Art Museum in Illinois debuted an exhibit called Kings and Queens in 2017 that lets you enjoy art while blank. Oh, I, I think I got a good one. Yeah, oh yeah. I, I think I got a good one too. I think I slam dunked it. I'm gonna get all, I'm gonna get every points. <laughs> I'm gonna get all the points. Yeah, it's gonna be like Xenon that uh, round a okay, couple rounds ago. Okay, where's the truth? I don't know what that means going with it, because I don't know what it means. Okay, let's take a look. <laughs> <laughs> That's real damn good. DJ Khaled. Yes. I actually Just knew that as one. The artists intended. Oh yeah. What's the why is it called Kings and Queens if it's pinball? That's not a pinball thing. <laughs> like pinballs have wizards. They they don't go into Select the monarchy. The category. She's During an on. interview with Charlie Rose, Mikhail Gorbachev revealed that Ronald Reagan <laughs> once told him the Cold War could be put on hold if blank. Ooh, just barely. Okay, look for the truth and pick it. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. That's Topical, a good one. Topical Gorbachev references, that's what I bring. Thank God. What we're Alien saying is Reagan might have been a little. War would still be going on today. Hey, thanks for the host. We appreciate it. Oh, hey, how about that? Who, uh, who are we being hosted by? Soke Blazed. Oh, right. Always appreciate a new host. Very kind. Let's take a quick trip to Mother Russia. When describing a poorly kept secret, Russians use a phrase that translates to Might have been a little crazy. Knows that. Enter your lies now. So I want you to know I have the only correct answer. If you choose an answer other than my answer, it's wrong. Even if you choose the right answer. 
It might have been a little uh, senile. On the other fucking hand, if aliens invaded, wouldn't you go, oh, what we're doing? That's dumb. This dick waving race we're in. Yeah, yeah. At that point, it might uh, it might be a good time to band together and worry about them aliens. Like you can Hurry make up, fun of Reagan, but he didn't okay, have. Okay, his... which one's the truth? <laughs> Every motherfucker knows that. Amazing. All right, who picked what? <laughs> See, Xenon knows the right thing to say. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Alright then. That was also very good. The only secret my barber knows about is my crippling eczema. Now for round two, where the stakes are doubled. Dag, I want a double stake. Time to pick oh, a it's my turn. Shit. Uh, colonoscopies. Right, of course it is. Okay, here's your question. Of course it's colonoscopy time. In 2007, time. a team of French doctors wrote a paper advising how best to give a colonoscopy that wouldn't make patients blank. Oh, okay, everyone had a go. Go. <laughs> All of these are bad. <laughs> None of these are good. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Oh my god. Golly and gosh, I'm not okay. <laughs> Remind me to never have a colonoscopy. Because <laughs> if these are my options, there's I had one... to I had to pick one specifically, even though I know it's All wrong. Alright, let's see what you guys picked. <laughs> I had die to pick it. Versus literally die. <laughs> Oh! Ow. Ooh! And you all missed it. Hi there, Prophet Troll. Since 1952, Good to see ya. it's Thanks happened up. at least 20 times. Explode. Wow. That's uh, terrifying. Yeah. I'm not a hondo that I want that. The Quinny Stroller Company makes an extreme stroller that's affixed atop a blank. An extreme okay, stroller. Your lives. Yeah, it's affixed atop of an elephant that shoots fire. We're doing pretty good, Prophet Troll. How are you? We're having a lot of fun out here tonight. We, we always do. It's Jack's Box Wednesday, which is apparently a thing now. Uh-huh. Okay, take a look and find the truth. <laughs> Guy named Quincy. <laughs> I do enjoy also psychic tandem war elephants. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone loves a guy named Quincy. Yep. We got that one. I was well really everyone. sure my race car would fool somebody. That shouldn't be one. Ah, <laughs> oh, that hurts my heart. I'm not as good as the pit maester. Longboard's the only one there that really made any sense. Race car, though. <laughs> that would be a little too extreme. It's the same Select backwards the and forwards. Scary words. Like okay, apparently colonoscopy. Sphenopalatine ganglioneuralgia may sound like a life threatening affliction, but you probably already had it if you've ever blank. Type in your lies now. Katie's a doctor. This isn't fair. I actually don't know this one if that helps. Not off the top of my head. Experienced or a loved one, mesothelioma. <laughs> if you were a loved one, experienced mesothelioma. Please call our uh, helpline. You may be entitled to a class action lawsuit. All right, let's see what everybody picked. Oh yeah. I knew someone had hit that. <laughs> Y'all just voting for the funny ones. Ah. Oh, very good. 
Ice cream headache. Yeah. Oh, of course. It's the technical term for brain freeze, and it's why I bring my ice cream to a gentle simmer before eating. It was this ice cream joint downtown that had a that had a water fountain like right in the in the joint, like right across from where you got your ice cream. It's it was the kindest time. thing I've Pay ever seen. This last oh. one's because the second points. anyone got a brain freeze, it was just like, make way, make way, please. I'm In getting July to the thing that's going to make this brain freeze go away. In Shelby Township, Michigan, set himself on fire in a meth lab explosion. Naturally, his reaction was to blank at blank. So I'm just going for the comedy and hoping that my winning personality will seize the day. Venon says she has the one true answer. Okay, of course. where's the truth? We shall see. Shower at Planet Fitness. Yell at Skylar. <laughs> Gesture at the cat. Pistols at Dawn. It looks like you're gonna have to go to... No worries. It was good of you to Let's stop see by what the... everybody selected. Don't worry about it. Take care of yourself. Have a good night. Ooh, good audience lie. I didn't actually know that was a thing. Uh, yeah, the audience are throwing in lies. Yell at Skyler. I mean, you don't want to clog your own drain with burning flesh. <laughs> That's very true. Don't have any spoons left. We understand. Some of us have days like that, too. We'll see you later. Yay. <laughs> we had someone who decided it would be a lot of fun to, like, throw in a bunch of uh, anti-Jewish stuff. And as someone who has Jewish friends who watch the stream, this was untenable for us. This is untenable, period. Yeah. It is. Thank you. We had It's... That's why we're not letting Welcome anyone to who's new to the chat Masterson. play directly um, right now. We officer, are certain that you're great Gavin people. LaForge. Unfortunately, we can't afford hey, to trust you. Hang around for a while, we'll get to okay, know you. You can come in another week. Join, they can get in the this one. I picked at random. Right, TV's question good, one. Uh, I know Rachel about TV Ward more than Terry I know about O'Quinn any other thing. Starred in the 1997 Lifetime movie, My Blank, My Lover. I think I spelled that word wrong. Oh, whoops. Regardless, we are happy to have you guys here right, as the audience. The Absolutely. Truth. I couldn't resist. <laughs> yeah. Also spelled very wrong. Ooh. I was actually kind of surprised that wasn't Xenon's lie. <laughs> I, I knew this movie hey, already. That must I make also for an knew that movie. Thanksgiving. In 1999, the Make-A-Wish Foundation put a new restriction on wishes. The organization officially banned kids from requesting blank. <laughs> what Make-A-Wish kid is like mob hit? <laughs> That's a good one. Thank you. I even went with the clinical terminology. <laughs> <laughs> like, no. Uh, Ooh. Oh, I got donked. Probably hunting trips then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's probably too dangerous, yeah? Yeah, and it uh, goes against something in their organization guidelines. No, it doesn't. Yeah. I don't remember the exact reasoning, but I remember it happening. All right, choose a Your turn. Oh. Christy. I have to hit this button, don't I? Canadian smells. Yeah. All right, here it is. In 2013, there was a controversy surrounding Canada's new $100 bill. Many claimed it oh. smelled like blank. All right, I get extra points if I just type in the thing. I love this Runaway 5 song that plays. <laughs> Like, yeah, we're the Runaway Five. We're going town to town. Okay, seek the truth. <laughs> <laughs> but 
the the extra descriptor in there is really really selling it. Uh huh. All of these are fantastic. What, okay, I'm, what I'm learning, I think, is that I, I have to go with the descriptor. I think what I'm learning is that I know too much about Canada. <laughs> or, uh, for an Oklahoman. I had to go with the descriptor. Yeah. I knew it was wrong, but it was too good. Sometimes the jokiest answer is the right one. <laughs> it was not the jokiest answer. <laughs> You're so naive, Hooky Masterson. When this someone just like two, spill their breakfast into a uh, printing press, I guess. Select oh, my turn. Well, yeah, I was kind of wondering that too, because I knew it was maple now syrup. Listen up. The record for the most money spent on vanity license plates is currently held by a man from Abu Dhabi who in 2008 spent about 14 mil, so his could say blank. I've got the best answer. No, you don't. Oh, I do. You sure don't? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't. I would believe literally every single one of these. <laughs> right? I love this part. I am not good at this. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh, was the truth. Okay, I thought it was lining up another lie for us. Might have been cheaper. <laughs> Didn't sucker anybody in with Garfield. Uh-huh. Nor did I sucker anyone in with I spent 14 million dollars. Have you ever heard of the, like, bitch I'm rich The Russians are coming! Mm. You know, the one that costs, like, a million dollars and no one ever bought it? And all it does is say that you're rich? Enough people bought it. The Russian equivalent of silent as the grave translates to mute a non as blank. zero amount Type of people your lies bought it. Now. All right, I tried to enter something and it said I was too close to the truth. Oh. So, good, you'll know which one it is. That's been a good lie. So that's what happens if you get Hurry, too close. Use the lie for me, button if you're stuck. <laughs> I like the callback. Thank you. I'm not certain what as mute as the seventh day of 1449 <laughs> means, but I do love it. Oh, dag. That is oh. literally what I typed in. You all nailed it. That's why fish are so awkward on first dates. <laughs> wow. In Honestly. 2004, U.S. service members gave soccer balls to Iraqis as part of a humanitarian mission with the shocking codename Operation Blank. Okay, look for the truth and pick it. <laughs> I'm, go I'm going for the extremist option. Mm. All right, let's see what everybody picked. That's good. That's a good one. I am shocked that wasn't yours, Katie. <laughs> no, that was mine. <laughs> I knew that was yours. I mean, sure. It's on. It's deeply on brand. Uh huh. Soccer ball. Good job, audience. Look, sometimes it is the most obvious answer. That just seemed too obvious. Oh, Not in the lead anymore. Hey, Thrayrit. Uh, oh god, I've never tried to pronounce your name out loud before. <laughs> this is the final fibbage. Embodiment of Red. Hello, how are you? Points. Good luck. Hey, it's good to see you. In November 2016, an Ohio woman who placed an ad on Backpage.com was busted for offering sex in exchange for blank and blank. Oh, your sensitive lies subject, now. Cookie. How are you doing tonight? I've, uh, I've already entered the correct answer, so I'm just going to sit back and have a chat. I think I got this. 
Okay, which one's the truth? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Bunk and Wagnall's Encyclopedia. That's pretty is, good. <laughs> yeah. Also, bread and butter as a callback is fantastic. All right, who picked what? Had a cider nap, and now you're rocking a fresh haircut and die job. Oh, that sounds like a worthwhile night. There's the winner. Hey, you know what, Ohio? There's nothing wrong with knowing what you want. That's very true. You win again. Yeah. I'm, I told you, I'm real good. I'm so, real good at this game. Thrayren, since we know you're cool, would you like to join in a round? Uh, while we wait for that answer, I'm going to go grab my beer out of the fridge. Now just waiting on one more player. And there we go. Opa. Want to hit that start button? Okay. Wait on that S key. Well, it's not... Still pretty frozen. I'll leave your beer in the fridge too, or the freezer again too long. Yeah, and then I put it in the fridge for a while to see if that would like counterbalance it, but that's not what happened. That happens here today. Here's the first question. Oh, for a world where you can just choose coolness. Two researchers conducted a quantitative investigation of coolness in order to determine if blank was cool. Write your lies now. Don't type number Wang. Don't type number Wang. Don't type number. <laughs> so. As, I really want Steve Buscemi to be the correct answer. <laughs> I mean, the, the answer is yes, Steve Buscemi is cool. Steve Buscemi is cool like every cucumber you've ever seen. Yes, but will that hold up in a peer-reviewed study? I guess. And what did people pick? I mean, it should. It's just a fact. Very nice. <laughs> that was too easy. Come on. Ooh, very good Xenon. Yes. And the hello is there. This is different from being popular Stina. and likable, which is just what so popular don't know how to pronounce your name. Would say. Oh wow, it actually was Steve Buscemi. Steve Buscemi. That's amazing. Steve Buscemi. Oh, look who's out in the lead. Tina, got it. Thank you for showing us. Awesome. Good to see you. The title of this interesting piece of art is The People Delivered to the Blank. Gonna have some good answers. Okay, here are your choices. <laughs> Vampire taxes. Oh my god. A cryptid pit. Oh, that was very good. Yeah, I almost picked that one. Yeah, it looks like one of those... Uh... Old woodcuts, right? Oh, very nice. Lions is also a very classic. Booyah! Jesus, then what the hell is it? Is it actually Cryptid Pit? <laughs> See, the audience always just picks Believe the silliest or not. one. I'm okay what? with this. Vampire taxes. What, what does that even mean? That's the one. That was the funny one. You know, it's very. Uh... It's very, uh, very cerebral. To, to be fair, you have to have a very high IQ to understand classical art. German toys. Oh, this should be good. And the question is, Cockle Dockle is a German toy where kids use a pump to help a dachshund blank. I already know Type this one. Your lies now. I did, the, I did the best I could under the circumstances. I am actually very familiar with this particular toy. <laughs> I'm, I'm not certain what quipple Let's means. Let's see what everybody selected. Well, it's what happens when you cockle-dockle. Everyone chose poop. Yep. 
Look at Everyone. how smart you people are. I also use a pump. <laughs> I'll uh, pick a category that I relate to. Let's see how this Because I have you. Crohn's disease. Comedian Jamie Loftus took on an odd project. For over a year, she's been slowly eating blank. Infinite Jest. That's actually beautiful, and I think is actually the correct that's, answer. That's pretty wonderful. Well, dang. Yeah. It seemed plausible. Get specific. Ooh. <laughs> That's horrible, and you should all feel ashamed of yourselves. Yeah, self war isn't cool. I mean, unless it's what you're into, I'm not here to keep Infinite it. Jest. I ate the first couple chapters, but I tell everyone I ate the whole thing. Wow. Did not expect that. When Christopher Viatapa googled himself in 2014, he was surprised to find that he was blank. Oh, also I should uh, okay, drop this Google search for truth. when the Savelle was made. No, I believe these like are all these are these. all excellent. I believe like all of these except a taco, or maybe Christopher Viatapa. Viatapa. I I could imagine a taco called Christopher Viatapa. Chris Ruvia Taco. Exactly. Very good. Dang. That seemed likely. Nice fibbing. Up. Zing. Same thing, just with a little dash of salsa. Uh huh. Try this on for size. Even more tragic, he was also in a bad parody of Gangnam Style. <laughs> well, look at you catching up, Thrayren. Ever had Betsy beer? It's brewed so that it tastes best when you're blank. Apparently you do lie well. And also know what true things are, which are the, you know, two holes of this game. Mm -hmm. Okay, seek the truth. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good audience lie. <laughs> oh, good job. Huh. So I guess that's a Your thing. These buds apparently change when you're at a high altitude and trapped in a cabin of farts. <laughs> yeah, like your whole chemical composition changes. That's why you like always cry when you're on planes. Or I do. I, I don't know about any of you. Or I don't either. So don't worry about it. This. The Albert Einstein once claimed that his second greatest idea after the theory of relativity was to put blank in blank. It took literally all the self-control I had to not type, put the lotion in the basket. <laughs> oh, just good job everyone here. Holy crap. Oh! Double duty. I don't know, it seemed plausible. It I like doesn't. mustard and potato salad. Ah. Very nice. I think I got there. Hey. Alright. Right? I agree 100%. And, uh, as someone who thinks potato salad is a devil food. I still get the most likes. It's, it's, it's a spiritual victory. Well, we're all having fun. That's the real victory. <laughs> the real fibbage was the friends we made along the way. 
Uh, do we want to shift over to something else? I think we should play a round of Enough About You if everyone's comfortable with that. It's that is where we tell lies about each other. Each other ourselves. And ourselves, yes. If Xenon and Thrayren are comfortable playing that, I think we should do it. Welcome to Enough About You. I'm Cookie Masterson, and that's enough about me. Hey, yo. Three players, plus two players, so five players. Yeah, I think that all checks out. Oh, good and job. Uh, anyone else can get matter. in and join the audience. Audience members get to guess the truth and pick decoy lies to fool the players. Okay, here oh, we go. Okay, the audience just picks lies rather than typing them in, so that's pretty safe. All right, listen up. Okay. I'm going to be a question it now. about you to your device. Answer with the truth. Then you'll get your chance to make up lies about the other players. You that get puts my mind at ease. For everyone you fool with your lies, 1,000 for finding the truth. Uh, and could you turn questions. your you a reputation uh, for speaker who volume you well down just right. a little bit because we that? keep getting a Good. little bit of feedback? Answer your question now. This player thinks they remember how to blank. Type in your lies now. Rude. It's gonna it's gonna be rude for all of us. <laughs> just just buckle your in. Buckle all of your ins. No, no, I'm buckled out. I am so offended right now. See the problem is No, I know what the problem is. The questions are worded differently between players. And so what you gotta be real pick? careful about how you type it. <laughs> Dougie, is, Dougie is a great answer. <laughs> gotta be real careful how y'all type your answers because of that. The worst movie this player paid money to see in theaters was blank. These are some real bad movies. They are some very bad movies. I've not seen Magnolia. People seem to like Gangs of New York. That was the worst one on the list. You you got me, Xenon. Billy Good Shorty was pretty bad. <laughs> I think... Ooh, it's a good lie. Yeah, I knew that was yours, because we talked about that Here's movie something before. something you might be interested in. Magnolia. Was Magnolia the one with Tom Cruise and he was sad about something? <laughs> That's... Isn't that like most movies now? All right, here no, it is. Tom Cruise is usually this like angry is about something. Easily confused by blank. Worry that my answer might be too close to home. We'll see how that goes. What is Tom Cruise Come sad on, about? Tom oh, features a lot of people. It features a lot of people and a lot of terrible artistic devices, and it stinks. Fair enough. Sounds like La La okay, Land. Which one's the truth? Ooh. Number one. <laughs> that's just a good. That's just a good general callback. Ooh, I choose the wrong one. I think I. Thanks for the host, Shablight. Okay, what did everyone pick? Oh, with four viewers. Hi, all y'all. a good lie. Yeah, I regret picking this. <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh -huh. As soon as it processed in my mind what that was... What really relaxes this player is blank. See, I've got a few answers. I'm trying to think of which one I wouldn't get grumped at for. I think there's plenty of non-grumpable answers. All right, where's the truth? Oh, here we go. That's that's good stuff. I do like bees as a callback. Mm-hmm. I just like watching them buzz. 
that's yep. Good try, though. It's not too far off. Very nice. Ooh hoo hoo! Really? I felt forged. How did we both go to dog petting? <laughs> <laughs> well, that also relaxes me. So it's not really a lie. Okay, here's should, a should we call her out on the that? The mistake this player has made in the last year was blank. I feel pretty certain I know a couple specific words that are going to come up in the next <laughs> think you do 25 too. seconds or so. I think you do too. <laughs> Almost none of these are wrong. I don't think I have the wherewithal to kill a Batman. It seems like a lot of work, and a lot of work that I don't want to do. I love do. this part. It's good. It's nice and silly. It is also something I would do. Ooh. Now, we don't get high-interest loans around here. I don't have a credit score. It started with I, so... Yeah. You getting to know all I like having my two answers you. be related to each other. I also tried to do that. We'll see how it goes. Getting to like you. Getting to hope you like me. Someone hasn't, uh, clicked in yet. There we go. Now take a guess, which statement about this player is true? God damn me and not knowing the difference between psychiatrist and psychologist. <laughs> <laughs> Even oh, split. half and half. <laughs> what the fuck? Jesus Christ! <laughs> That's amazing, sweetie. What the fuck? <laughs> what? I think you typed too much there. What's the What's the rest of that sentence, please? <laughs> what? Spot <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. You're good at typing. I agree. No, it was good enough to read. It's just it got cut off for some reason. Uh huh. I thought you said you'd eaten a pear before, because I could have swore you said you didn't like pears. What do you think? Uh, no. Huh. I have to get you a pear. I mean, do you? I think I'm fine. Huh. I'm, I'm going Freyran, for I don't know you that well, so this is a toss-up. Yeah, we were talking about that while uh, y'all were searching for the frames we dropped. I'm going with what I want to be true. Oh! Oops. Y'all y'all went with Bill Clinton. An apartment building is so much more down to earth. I know! Yay! Alright, that was a lot of fun. Ooh, we tied for most likes. So now let's give a shot at, uh, let's take a shot at Survive the Internet. Oh, sure. Went to church, church with, with Bill Clinton and sat with him in the hall waiting for parent-teacher conferences. Oh, wow. Amazing the mundane things you get to do with famous people, huh? It's almost like they're real. <laughs> Chelsea went to your elementary school. That's adorable. Such a... she's such a muffin. Alright. Let's kick a little ass. How many people want to kick some ass? Bam, bam. I had this dream that you five would show up, and now look, here we are. So weird. Don't forget you can join the audience at any time. Please ignore my desktop folders and follow me. Okay. Crop your X out, editor. Oh wait, I was supposed to ignore that, huh? 
Also, acting headshots with Hi, turtle I'm your Mike. host, Todd. And yes, that rhymes with bod. So feel free to call me Todd the Bod. In case you no. need some instructions, check out this quick tutorial. Hey guys, what's up? It's Party Boy 7 here to teach you how to play Survive the Internet. Hey, Party so Boy. in each round, you'll get a prompt on your device. Go ahead and answer it. Those responses will then be sent to another player. The objective is to twist these words in the most ridiculous way possible. So if my friend Paul said selfie sticks are quote, super dumb, then I would take him out of context. Say we're on a news site. Their super dumb would be an outrageous comment to what headline? Oh, I get it. Everybody then votes on whose comment looks the most absurd. I get rewarded for writing the twist and Paul gets some pity points for looking foolish. The person with the most points at the end of the game wins. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Please. I feel so empty inside. Let's Don't encourage Todd, up. Xenon. New Can't site. give yourself a nickname. Says AKA Hailing. <laughs> Do you regret your decisions? Yes. It's too late now. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Oh. Uh, those are some tall dogs. <laughs> now let's go to a crowdfunding site. Ooh. Is anyone else's heart racing right now? I am. Um, I gave up on mine. Let's see how everybody voted. I could only think of one thing to put, and I wasn't going to put that. That's fair. That was very good, Thrayron. Mm -hmm. Let's see what that round did to things. Hey, I have an idea. Let's go to a... Check-in site. Everyone was rude. Missouri. 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 It's time to answer another prompt. I'd like you to really listen to your heart this time. Here we Let's go. See how this pans out. Ouch. Hey, yeah. <laughs> So bland. <laughs> the screen jets is very fun. <laughs> That's why I uh, wasn't allowed back in the public All pool right, when let's I was get about those boats in. <laughs> I was asked a question about green tea. And here uh -huh. are the results. I wasn't sure how to answer it. <laughs> All right. Let's check out the scoreboard, shall we? Uh, 
Ah, uh, Katie's edging Let's me out. Things at, uh... <laughs> That's what she Photo said. Da -da 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 -da. Give this one your all because points are worth double in this round. Oh, I got one. I got one. Oh yeah. Took me a sec. You you found it. You yeah, reached, boy. You I can hardly the, contain my the dark excitement. part of your heart. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's just my tone. That's so, true. Congrats on that. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> Jesus. Is that like a salmon steak? <laughs> <laughs> I know my audience. Sit on my murder hotel. Oh, oh that's embarrassing. <laughs> oh man, it all comes down to this. Yeah. This is where I shine. You, uh. You nice did really job. Well. This will be a great story to share with your grandchildren one day. All right. So, stuck in the middle with you. All right. Uh, seems like a good time. To jump down to bracketeering, Alley Cat. Hey there. This is this is going very well. I'm glad. I like it when people can have fun with these streams. Like literally the whole reason we do them. No worries. We were worried you might have exploded or something. We've got big fun waiting Maybe to be you got unleashed. a colonoscopy. We'll be posing yeah. some of life's most important questions. Your answers will be paired off in a no-holds-barred tournament. And your votes will determine which answers advance in the bracket. As we whittle down to our championship winner, this is Bracketeering. I'm sending the topic of our first bracket to your devices now. Children's toy that's the most fun for an adult to play with. It's time to dive into our first bracket. Bracket work with five, uh, with five oh, on oh, it's a versus doozy. jump rope. Use your device uh. to vote on which you think deserves to win. But don't forget, if you change your mind, you can change your vote. This one's looking over. Mm. Yeah. Give me that toy now, you hear me? What an upset. But is this no one CSGO? saw this one coming. Ooh. Uh, Next up. Jump rope wins. This is one for the ages. Hey, yo, you. Someone had autocomplete turned on. I like, I like yo, you. I am on the edge They're of my fun seat. and easy to wear. The clock is running out on voting time. Speaking of edible, I should have gone some of my, uh, Wait Lego candies. Wow. Hey, I didn't expect that. Let's see what tensions are mounting over in the Omega Conference. It's a bracket like this that truly <laughs> makes this game the sport of kings. That's... I don't think that's a real thing. Oh, this one seems like it's over. I'm holding out for the real one. No, but that no is contest. actually a real toy. Fucking what? Yep. 
Fucking what? Yep. No, but fucking what, though? Yep. Not okay. And now, our last two contenders face off! I like that we had Slinky and not Slinky. Like, I chose Slinky because I knew someone no else was going to pick Legos. <laughs> <laughs> Just running out the clock. Like, I like Slinky. Decisive but victory. You're gonna get daughtered by Legos. Mm -hmm. Everyone bets on the favorite and cashes in. Let's like, I'm a big proponent of the jump rope, but I lost over a hundred pounds doing the jump rope. Oh, it doesn't get more contentious than this. Oh yeah, it doesn't get making. any more contentious than this. Mm -hmm. This is this is a uh... split right down the middle. Tap on your device as fast as you can to cheer for your answer. Oh man, I'm gonna break this mouse. Uh huh. Oh man. The tie is broken. Finally, we can go on with our lives. That was something. Our winner moves on to the final, but let's find out what they'll face off against. What what is this? What are you doing? It's Legos. <laughs> quit doing quit doing like sex. This it's one Legos. seems like it's over before. <laughs> What's wrong That's with a very you good people? Toy. <laughs> Looks like this one was obvious. <laughs> and now the final face-off. What a is the most buster. fun children's what the fuck toy happened? for adults? <laughs> Was Harry like Potter one. vibrating magic broom happens. Fucking I now, guess. Now, before y'all vote, remember that these can both be used to emerge. in this. <laughs> why, are you, why, why do you want to tie someone up with a jump rope? <laughs> it's, not, it's not cool. It's all cool, like... Come out on top. Don't find some, like, paracord. <laughs> we have our first winner. The actual fuck. <laughs> oh, wow, congratulations, what Alice. Let's see how the you're out. Filthy. <laughs> I'm so very disappointed in you. I thought we raised you better than this. It's time for the blind bracket. You're a All blind you'll be bracket. given is the That's category. Not very nice, I guess. Or not slinky. Any two words that rhyme with each other. I think you never had a prayer. Go ahead and write the first thing that comes to mind. We'll see the real bracket title after you Any answer. Any two words that rhyme with each other. Would make for the coolest rhyme in a song. Time to get in those predictions. <laughs> okay. Up first. All right. Mud Mud versus Two Frog Bog. Squaring off. Excellent. It's really going back and forth. We're in the home stretch. Ooh, close. A seesaw battle if I ever saw one. Prediction one. Your girl got some cash money, money, get green money, money. Our next matchup. <laughs> I'm, I'm almost positive house isn't a word. <laughs> oh, not that, I, not that I have an English degree. But I might as well. <laughs> this one's looking up. Wang well, you can flip that flappity. Which is like another thing I don't want, right? Is it like vagina dentata? Let's see what tensions I, I are guess. mounting over in the but Eastern on, Conference. Yeah, but on a, but on a dog. <laughs> That's number one. <laughs> 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 
hat or Orin door hinge? That's my favorite joke from Monkey Island. This one seems like it's over before it's done. Ooh. They eked out a victory! Prediction one. It's time to round out the bracket with this vicious matchup. Running out the clock now. They're on fire. Popthrob was never not gonna win, I guess. Mm. Sounds like a rain <laughs> Before we get on to round two, <laughs> it's time to make another prediction. Let's jump back to our bracket for round two. What mutt versus Wang? No love lost between these two. This was my favorite like comic. <laughs> but and Wang Fang. No, but mutt versus Wang Fang. It was the crossover event we had all been waiting for for years. <laughs> this one seems like it's over before it's done. Uh. That's what I call a tight race. <laughs> That's what she said. Chromium corridors of pain. The diamond it. sinners sing your name. That's not bad. I dig it. The finals are just a win away from these next two answers. Mm, both so good. The struggle is real. It's anyone's game! Dang! I was really surprised wow. Dory didn't take it. Uh huh. I'm really curious where these extra ones are coming from, because there's five of us, off. but it still has to be eight for a Swiss bracket. Our audience, our audience people and now we in. finally decide! Uh, I've got literally the no idea. Rhyme in a song. That would be cool. Fang Fang versus Glob Frog. That's rough. I feel like split the difference and have Wang Frog Glob Fang. The lead keeps that sounds like hands. an orc name from Warhammer. Wang Frog Glob Fang. An epic showdown of the Butt Mud Tribe. Ooh. That win's gotta feel good. Feels good on the Wang Fang. Pigeon not. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take another peek at the Pigeon scoreboard. <laughs> I'm feeling like I'm getting hustled with no loyalty or respect. And now the bracket you've heard so much about. The triple blind bracket. This, this good bracket one. will change every single round. Here's your starting category. Name any classic book. Who knows what crazy twists and turns this bracket will take. Let's see what we're dealing with. Best book for Morgan Freeman to read aloud to you. Here comes trouble. Secret Garden this is versus why we do this, tale, folks. A sale of two, you know the joke. A real tug of war. Uh, this one's looking over. Are you still in? You can't tell if this is the audience. You've been like selecting like stuff. Like falling off a log. Uh, I guess I have literally no way of telling. Yeah, that's the trouble. Moving the on secret to Garden our next wins. Matchup. Overwhelming support already. It's really going back and forth. Close the wrong tab and rejoin. I did that earlier and it let me back in. It, it could be fine. 
Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> the pic portrait of Dorian Gray. Yeah. Ah, you didn't think you were gonna win that one, huh? No, I really didn't. I thought like we the hall. Why don't we see what's hall, going on on the other side the of the I thought that was gonna play. Oliver Twist versus the Hobbit. Deep in a hole in the ground, there lived a Hobbit. I have a bad Morgan Freeman. I should quit doing that. Yeah. Oh, let's 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 see how I can do. Please, sir. Now. May I have some more? I I don't think that's the one. <laughs> Stop dropping. Yeah. Roll. I don't think I can get that deep. We're getting we're getting uh, five responses per question, and so presumably yes. You're still in the end. Ooh. Book of Untold Tales. Guess that's a problem when this you pick a book people like don't even know. That kind of domination is illegal in some states. <laughs> book of Unwritten Tales is a point and click adventure video game presented by, no, created that's, by a German. This that's a different thing. It's the best book to use as a guide on how to live your life. Let's jump back to our bracket for round two. Secret Garden versus Portrait of Dorian Gray. Ouch. Yeah. I don't know. Do you want to be rich and immortal? <laughs> and like, horrible? Horrible. Literally super duper horrible. That the Portrait of Dorian Gray is much more We've about the artist overtime. than the... Uh, Show your support person. for your answer by tapping on your device as fast as you can. This is how voting works, right? Uh, yeah. Whoever gives themselves carpal tunnel first. The tie has been broken. I'm going to miss the tie times. Damn. Wow. Everyone thought Rich and Immortal was going to win. One more match to determine our finals. Folks, I've been waiting for this matchup my entire career. Dang. Oh, I was trying to get to like a Shawn Michaels Bret Hart joke earlier. I completely whiffed it. This one's looking over. No added salt! No surprises on the prediction. See, I predicted front. it because it is a poor sort of memory that only works backwards. And it all comes down to this. Best book to hit an intruder over the head with. Oh. I hope your answers still make sense. And now the definitive matchup. Well, which one's heavier? Uh, it would depend on the printing, but I think Secret Garden is longer. Ah. Uh. I guess I have no way no of verifying. No one thought that. it would be this close. Will we see a final push? This player is unstoppable. Dang. Let's see who won it all. What is an Arn? Uh, that must have been one of the, uh... Computer answers, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Y'all picked a computer answer over mine. <laughs> so that's fun. Alright, one sec, and I want to start up a game of Civic Doodle before we go off the air. Get out of here, Civ Bracketeering. Now best friends with Civic Doodle. Yeah, we're gonna do some drawings. Like Simon. Hi, my name is Simon. Like to do drawings. My camera doesn't calibrate it to two monitors, so everything's gonna be flat. I mean, that's fine. I'm drawing with a mouse on, uh, on a dumb thing, so. Uh-huh. It's not about how good your art looks. That's more about how silly you can make it, really. 
Because that's that's what's probably gonna get the votes. That's some uh, expensive katakana three rings using. Hey there! Welcome to Doodle Valley, home of the turnip that looks like Craig Kilborn. <laughs> Thank you all for No, that's just Craig Kilborn. Yeah, it's just what Craig Kilborn. In our town is. beautification initiative. Remember, there's still time to join the audience and help the cause. The mayor wants to turn all the drab white walls in the town into colorful community art projects. Hi there, Turbo Isn't Dragon. Right, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> Good to see you. Amanda. Well, that's not my name, sir. And I know just where to start. Right here. <laughs> We're on our last round of the see, night. This mural is already in progress. The local preschool was going to paint something here, but this is as far as they got before they declared it an exercise in futility. They're very advanced. You gotta follow through, kids. We believe in a little thing called democracy around here. So I'll let two of you make additions to the drawing, and your fellow volunteers will vote on who made it better. All right, oh, let's rock. I'm keeping you on a short time make sure you don't Draw overthink one. it. Okay, volunteers, ready, still ready, and ready. I mean, go. While our doodlers doodle, the rest of you can react to each drawing with the buttons on your device. I just love to jam. All right, so we're, we're definitely seeing some uh, some differences here. Very strong candidates. It's up to the voters to pick a winner. Come on, vote, why don't ya? Sounds like Meatwad. It does kind of sound like Meatwad. Uh, I don't know if I want Illuminati confirmed or Jacko Pumpkin. <laughs> Let's see how that shook out. Ooh. The polls are closed. Not so fast, Caroline. Each match, I'll be picking an emoticon that tickles my fancy and giving out a bonus to the drawing that got the most of them. This time, the bonus goes to the drawing with the most poop. <laughs> the most poop. It is a lot of poop, but... Wonderful. Now you two get to add something. Let's keep the civic pride rolling. All right. Go. Okay, so not necessarily better. <laughs> okay, count them up. Oh, oh, smash! The bonus goes to the drawing with the most laughing fellas. <laughs> laughing fellas. I didn't get even one laughing fella. I just got fucking crushed. I got the one laughing fella. Fantastic. Now let's see what you two can add. Go. Oh. Uh, 
uh, Turbo Dragon, do I know you from seeing you in Xenon stream, or am I misremembering this? It's voting time. <laughs> Golly and gosh. This is, uh... Familiar. It didn't. Uh, it didn't click instantly. Rack up those votes. Ooh. Everybody likes the little the little man up in the next. eye. Oh god! I didn't even realize that was what it was. That's so bad. <laughs> Really discomfited by this drawing and what it has become. Oh, my God, I'm so bad at drawing with a mouse. Voting time. Bing. <laughs> Regardless, they're both incredible. They, they really are. Aww. Good job, Xenon. Next up. Go. What name am I meant to do with this monstrosity? That's a good question. I wonder my mouse felt wrong. It ran out of battery. So it wasn't just me being inaccurate. It's time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The jams knocked me it's out. Magnificent! I couldn't imagine adding anything else. Now it needs a good title. Suggest one on your device now. Oh, the title. Which one is it gonna be? Let's vote. <laughs> <laughs> Only 90 kids will remember. <laughs> if you are not in that very select group of 90. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Good stuff. The hard work's done. Let's step back and admire our work. Well, Only 90 kids will remember. Inside you. Golly. <laughs> Throwing it up on a balloon really makes it because uh -huh. then you have this Thanks. Dag! Round two. I've got a good feeling about this one. Xenon versus Go! Christy. Fight. I guess. Yeah, my mouse is working fine now that I plugged it in. Away. 
Oh, but they're both so good. Oh, I like them little spikes. Let's count those votes. I shouldn't, like, say that on stuff I didn't do. It reveals who. Yeah, because it reveals that yours yeah. is the other one. Either way, close. Next on deck. Ooh, Christy versus Go. me. Ah, who who will win art? <laughs> Be the superior arts of the household. It's right there. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> Gotta play to the audience. <laughs> Next up. Go. Xenon versus Three Red. is now Minnie Mouse. <laughs> or I suppose this could be Mickey Mouse talking to Goofy Senpai. <laughs> oh, uh, what's that? Up next. Ooh. Go! Now it is my turn. Now I can hopefully draw without my mouse jerking around. to vote. <laughs> Excellent. Not enough time. I hold that there was still a... Uh... I mean, that's the idea, is that there's not enough time. This should be fun. Next up. I lost some more Go. frames there. Sorry about that. It's it's reasonably fine.
It's voting time. <laughs> So many poops. Okay, count them up. Oh. That mic, I'm rubbing my goddamn mic. <laughs> this piece is just <laughs> screaming for a good title. Let's give it one. Yes, let's. <laughs> 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 Lots of excellent titles again. Yay. Exactly what you're responsible for. <laughs> I mean, wow. I like it. Amazing. Ah, beautiful cup art. Listen up, everyone, because this time you're all drawing at once. I want to fill the town hall with portraits of our fine citizens. And just flip through the old Doodle Valley phone book. Here we go. That's who you're gonna draw. Uh, sir? I've got no clue who that is. Oh, you remember? They live down by the gravy factory. You know, the river of gravy that ran in there. I'm yeah, get not really following this either, but tell you what. <laughs> let's have everyone start by drawing eyes. Any eyes you want. Any eyes we want. The, the plant where they box the gravy up and sell it to you. Oops. Who is that? Who is that in the lower right? Be ashamed of yourself. God, what? Stop. <laughs> those are not, those are not real. Why are you like this? No bad options here, but let's vote on which is best. <laughs> oh, no, a tie! I demand a recount. Now, now, Belinda, as mayor, I get to break all the ties. I'm gonna pick this one. Darn. Yes, I couldn't get away with it. I'll do the nose. Oh, we're, we, we've taken this in a distinctly impressionist direction. For abstract, I'm not in art history. Absolutely beautiful stuff. That is, that is, what is with the lower right corner? I love, I love La Masaye is there, yeah. <laughs> That's not what that is. Masaye is uh, the anthem. And vote. <laughs> Thank you. 
Ooh. Is this just gonna be me drawn all by myself? Now, add a mouth. We're all Francis drawing. Window. <laughs> now, Francis Widow is the name of that character. I know. I know, but that's what Thrayrin said. Cause, cause he drew a French flag. right there is having themselves a bit of a time. A little bit. Dag. Got some. Finally, finish off this drawing with anything you want. And I mean anything. Don't draw a penis. Please don't draw a penis. That's the one thing. Or any sort of genitalia, really. It would it would be nice. We're trying to keep it even for Twitch. I can talk about cock and ball torture every now and again, but uh. But you can't show it. Yeah, you can't show it. No. That makes for bad thumbnails. Last vote. <laughs> I do like number four. <laughs> Taking a while for some of this to pop in. Mm hmm. <laughs> four just kind of went nuclear option. <laughs> With a check mark. <laughs> the check mark's what really makes it. A tie, huh? I picked Ooh. This one. Oh. <laughs> okay, take it all in. Francis Winda, w Widow. It's like Francis Widow. In a well known Widow. From the Gravy Factory, you apparently. All did our town proud. But let's see who did it the proudest. It's, it doesn't look like it's not Rick Sanchez. <laughs> <laughs> wow! I'm the winner. Yay! Welcome to Squirrel Lily, where the goals are made up and the points don't mean anything. <laughs> so thanks everyone for coming. We really enjoy doing these Wednesday streams with y'all. Let's go over next week's schedule, shall we? Tomorrow, Alice. Yes, I'm doing LEGO Dimensions. We're starting with the Phantom Zone. And... And then there's two more story levels after that. Regardless, we're going to build some cool Lego. All right. And then the next day is me, Katie, with, uh, what's that game called? Pit People, which is a very funny SRPG from the makers of, and in fact, it is the sequel to Battle Block Theater, also from the makers of uh, Pit, I almost said Pit People again, Alien Hominid and Castle Crashers. Saturday, Saturday, we got a whole lot of, well, Saturdayness. Saturday's the day off. 
we're gonna go see that movie with Rock the Dwayne Johnson. I me love and Chris Rock the Dwayne Johnson. And oh, that that pretends that it's uh, that it pretends it's based on an arcade game I used to like. And then Sunday we got Sue playing Hard West, a much more serious SRPG about cowboys, demons, and lots and lots of murder. Let's see, uh, Monday is Christy playing. I'm gonna be playing a little bit of more Magic the Gathering Arena. Uh, if people want to watch that, show up. If you don't want to watch it, then I'll uh, stop doing it because uh, I like doing it, but not if it's like not going to be interesting for people. And after that, I'm going to be playing more Chroma Squad, the strategy game about a Sentai team that might or might not also be actual aliens. All right, and then... Let's see, Tuesday, we're back around to Andrea playing Paladins with the community, I, and I know she would love for any of y'all to join her. If you have any interest in that game, she would love to have you on her team for the stream. And then Near Automata, which she's, like, in the first act of Chapter 3, I guess. It's That is a game that thinks it's more than it is, but it's hilarious. And then Wednesday, we're back around to, I guess, another Community Jackbox stream. So if any of that sounds good to y'all, hit that follow button. We would love to have you guys around. Thanks again to our subscribers. Thanks again to everyone who watches. Y'all rock. Y'all keep us going. And, uh, yeah, everyone who showed up. Xenon, Thrayrin, Turbo Dragon. Those people who dropped in early on who I'd never seen before, but they seemed really cool. B, who had we to go to sleep Stina. early. B, who had, to, who had to go early. Yeah, we just love having y'all here. And I hope we'll see you again next time. Good night. Thanks. Good night.